Luke here and I'm back with another video and we are, well I say starting off, we've only got three of them, um, but I do have some more Noble Collection Harry Potter products uh, for you guys to see uh, and I thought, you know what, I'll get around to filming these videos today so then that way I can upload something and then not miss potentially an entire month. <laughs> um, but for Christmas I got three of the new Fantastic Beasts ones as well as uh, a collectible and a plushie but what I'll be reviewing uh, to are the ones and you may remember that a few months back uh, in fact I think it may have been it, it, oh no, it was in late 2017 if I remember correctly that I reviewed uh, Newt Scamander's wand well this time around uh, I thought I'd start off reviewing the Fantastic Beast ones I have with his brother's wand, uh, Theseus Scamander's wand. So, Theseus's wand comes in uh, a purple box, which isn't really showing it. Yeah, it looks a bit more sort of pinkish purple on camera than it does in person, I think. But the colour is definitely uh, probably more purple than pink. Uh, you do have the name Theseus Scamander on both sides, and of course when you open up the box, oh and they don't say, um, they still have the stickers with the characters names on, but they don't have Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald on them anymore, um, because you may remember that the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them ones had uh, the movie's logo uh, embossed in gold, but they, uh, or like on the box, but they didn't have, uh, they're, d they're not continuing to do that with the Crimes of Grindelwald uh, ones, so you don't see Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald on them anymore, but you do still have the stars on the edge of the box, and you do still have the black ribbon, there we, there we are, with the tighter um, cushioning, which I suppose is meant to improve upon the again upon the felt from the Ollivander's boxes of the Harry Potter ones. So <laughs> to take the wand out, and this is how. This is uh, what it looks like. I'll just do a quick overview of it and then I'll do a close up. Okay. So starting off down here at the at the bottom, you do have uh, just a plain gold um base uh, or pommel rather um which can it no it can't. Uh, I was trying to see if you could stand the wand up on this, but you can't. Um, and then you have sort of a uh, a cone shape for the handle, and all around the handle you have. Um, I'm not sure if the if it picks up very well, but you have these sort of uh, markings. These what seem to me like tiger stripes or something um and it, you know it's it's like the markings sort of resemble smoke that's encased parts of the handle and sort of overshadows the the, the bronze um paint over that so a bit creepy there uh, you also have a gold um, adornment which is also kind of a cone uh, shape and then the shaft is ah, I'm not sure if you can tell there but that is the trademarking on this wand uh, and the camera on my phone doesn't pick it up too well but the shaft is kind of I don't know it kind of looks like from a, it's kind of given a redwood colour maybe, or a mahogany colour or something like that, and then along the shaft you have um, small, uh, 
uh, black scratches that start around the middle and then they go all the way through uh, go all the way? no um, but you've got indents along the shaft there which give the wand a bit of a weathered look and the tip of this wand uh, just seems to be a your, your typical flat tip uh, which you know um, the flat tips I'm just getting used to at this point <laughs> um, but that's really it guys that's it for Theseus Commander's wand I hope you guys have enjoyed this review even though there wasn't there isn't a lot of detail to go over with this wand really um, do I recommend you get it? Uh, if you're a fan of simple wands versus um, detailed ones, then perhaps go for this. Um, if you and if you did like Theseus's character, then you might want to go for this. Um, but if you didn't like Theseus's character or you're more into detail-oriented ones, then this might be one that you uh, give a miss. Um, in terms of ergonomics, it's very light. Um, Probably ever so slightly heavier than some other ones you may find, but doesn't feel that different to me in terms of weight. Ergonomically speaking, though, it is very comfortable. Um, the only complaint I'd say that there is regarding the ergonomics is the handle is very, very, very small. Um, but yeah, guys, that is the first of the three Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald ones uh, that I have. Uh, reviewed and we've got another two to go so stay tuned for them anyway guys I'll s hope you've enjoyed I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my review of Nicholas Flamel's wand so until then goodbye you've been warned and mischief man.